Uh, John is not too thrilled today because I did ask him to do a girl design, but it's because I just did Jenny with all this black and I just felt guilty to ask her again. So uh, he's going to let me do a design on his face, uh, showing you guys one of my favorite fairy fly kits. Um, this particular fairy fly kit, you can tell I use it a lot. I think it's called Sea Sparkle. But anyways, I really like it. I'll show you guys some things that you can do with it and hopefully you enjoy this tutorial. So I'll start off by just adding a little bit of cheek color uh, because I always like to make sure that my cheeks look good. So this is this beautiful magenta shimmer uh, from Fab. Love this color and it's back in stock, guys. So you don't have to stress. And I mix it with a little bit of red. Um, this one is the watermelon, actually, because it has a little bit of a pink hue to it. I dab it off and then I like to test it on my wrist, make sure that it's not too strong of a color because if it's too strong, you don't want to put it down on the cheeks. That'll make it look like they're going to faint. So I just load it a little bit on my sponge and then just right on the top of the cheekbones, just dust a little bit of color uh, so that you get those nice rosy cheeks. And then with the shimmer color, you get this beautiful shine to it. So that's always a nice thing. Now the cool things about this fairy fly kit is that you have a larger area for your rainbow cakes to cover larger areas and then you have individual um, uh, uh, arty cakes so they're good they're good for that so I'll start off by just using um, just going back and forth with my three-quarter brush picking up this blue combination right here so then I'm just going to have him close his eyes now I've showed you guys this I've showed you guys this before. You don't want to go straight across on the eye with your arty kicks and you're going to make this block. So you want to start in the corner and kind of, and I'll start on this side and show you guys. You want to start in the corner and you want to press and then kind of make like a swoop up. So that way you're filling in the eye with all these blended colors versus um, getting this sharp block line. So again, start there come up cut through the eye so that you're filling in the actual eyelid and you want to make it on the lift which is what I did and then just from the the tips of it I'm just going to kind of swing it back in and make these teardrops so you see this shape that I'm making start here flat round it in finish on a tip and just bring it in using uh, those nice round teardrop shapes. Now the way that you get a teardrop using your flat brush, so now the way that you get you make a teardrop using your flat brush is you're going to press and twist when you lift. Press and twist. So no matter what brush you're using, you can still get these nice teardrops. Watch what I'm doing. I'm pressing and I'm twisting to the tip. Press and twist. And for more on how to use your brush and how to do the perfect teardrops, you're going to want to watch Marcella's fabulous class on Faba TV uh, called 100 Teardrops. Honestly, one of the best classes I've ever taken. And if you guys like learning, make sure to check out Faba TV. I promise you, you will love it. So then the next thing I'm going to do is taking the larger area of my uh, fairy fly kit is I'm just going to spritz it with a little bit of water and then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to load it up. So then once I have it loaded on my sponge, all I'm going to do is in the middle of the forehead, I'm just going to press this color in just like this. All right, so now I have this little bit of a base color, and then I just flipped over my sponge, and I'm just going to bring the color down just a little bit there, and a little bit underneath the corners of the eyes to make it all match. I can add all the fun things that I enjoy about face painting and really dress this design up. So then I'm going to bring up my new Silly Farm large point brush. And this is great for making your flowers. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to dip it in uh, my white. Pick up a nice generous amount of white. You want to really coat your bristles. Your brush nicely coated all the way to the ferrule. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this blue, the same blue I use for Wolverine. And then I just pick up the tip so that you're double loading it. Have it right there on the tip. And I'm just going to start creating um, a series of flowers. So I start in the middle. You want to make sure that this is dry. And the good thing is I have the light so it's drying it off. But don't go out there and start painting on top of paint while it's still wet. 
So I'm going to start off by pressing in a circle, create my little flower petals, make a smaller one there. So I started off making my little flowers and I have a little bit more room so I'll make a smaller set there. And then in the corners of the eyes, same thing. And this brush makes magical flowers, like one of my favorite things ever. So in this area right here is just take another sponge and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this metallic white right inside of there. And I'm going to take one of my trusty BAM stencils and in this area right here, just kind of press it over it so that I'm going to give it a little bit of a texture and this gives it kind of that laced effect. This is super cool, this stencil. And then I'll do a little bit more over here as well just to kind of bring in that design together, keep it fun all the way around. Same thing over there. And now the fun part about this is I can just go in, add some, a little bit more swirls, add a little bit more embellishments, and then you'll be done. And this doesn't have any rhyme or reason to it. The fun part about it is that you can just create it. And little girls love flowers. They love colors. They love uh, looking pretty. And even though he's not a little girl, this design would work. Okay. So I'm just taking my same brush. This is my large point, And I'm just going to add a few little leaves right around um, my flower area, overlapping, and just maybe a little bit on the nose and along it in the corners. Okay, so now you can see I added a little bit of, um, a little bit of my embellishments right here. So finally what I'm going to do is using my brush, I'm just going to go back in with a few teardrops, a few swirls and curls, and just finish up this design. Okay, so right in the middle I added some dots and I'll do that in the middle of these flowers just to kind of give them their center so that I, I defined where the center was. So what I do on one side, I'll do on one side, on the other side I mean. And then I'm just going to build off of all of my swirls because again, even though they're nicely highlighted already, I just like to add a little bit to them. So I'm going to, from the top, come in, pressing and pulling, pressing and pulling directly in, and I'm just making clusters of them. So what I mean by that is little clusters of three. So what I do on one side, again, I'll do on the other side. So again, I pressed and I pulled in. Press, lift up, pull in. And you want them to be almost cascading. And then from here, press, pull in. So just like that. So then I have a kind of a rule of thumb. Anytime that you see these areas right here that have no border on them, naturally a little girl might have hair right here. So it wouldn't go naturally as high. It might stop right here. So what I like to say to myself is, usually as a rule of thumb, I like to make sure that I finish all of the edges. And what I mean by finish is that you don't have any of this hanging paint. So what I'm going to do, just to kind of uh, explain, uh, what is the word where I'm trying to illustrate my point sorry guys and I'm glad that you get to see me do this is I'm just going to erase a little bit of it so that you can see how high you would want to go so I erased a little bit of it and this is what I mean about finished edges right there you have I would just like to add a series of dots to kind of border it because again, I like to finish all of my edges, okay? So that kind of just gave it that little uh, finishing touch and I can add some starbursts around it um, if you wanna make a bigger one in that area. Right, right inside of there. That way your design will come together. And because I would have those dots up there, naturally I would want to duplicate it coming into the eye here so that your design all would come together. So press, dot, dot, press. If you have any extra time, I'm going in and I'm just giving all of my leaves a little bit of an outline.
using my white paint just to kind of make them stand out a little bit more. So lastly, all I'm going to do is just give him a little bit of lipstick and I told him that I would buy him dinner. But if I'm going to actually do a design, I need to go all out. So, in finishing off this fantastically fairy-licious design, <laughs> I'm going to uh, just give him, him a little bit of lipstick and just ignore all of the uh, the brush around his face and just try to look beyond it so you can actually see the beauty of a design like this so finally um, I just have to pick up one of my favorite things my glitter especially the white glitter and you don't want to do it overboard because again glitter should be an accent it shouldn't cover up your design so I'm just kind of tapping it here and there just kind of going in these directions. All right, so guys, you just want to focus on the pretty blended colors, uh, having a design that all flows nicely. And little girls love these elements. They love the glitter. They love the flowers. They love the, the princess colors. So this is a fast and easy design I did using pr uh, primarily my fairy fly kit. So uh, if you guys have any other questions, check me out. Make sure to check out the blog. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, John. Smile.